KG5 EIU I'm going to show you how easy it is to SSH into your Pi Star. This assumes that the Pi Star has been uh, configured and is up and running and attached to the same network as your Windows box. I'm running Windows 10 in this case. First thing you'll need is to download the PuTTY client. I'm using PuTTY because it has uh, SSH and Telnet in it. I just grabbed the uh, binary file for SSH and, and Telnet itself. I'm running 32-bit uh, Windows, so I grabbed uh, putty.exe. Uh, it went to my download directory, and I dragged it out and put it here on the desktop. From the PyStar, uh, you can get into configuration. There's two options for SSH. One of them's public and one of them's private. I'm private because I'm on the same network behind my internet router. And so that's what that's what that does. If you were going to put this uh, and make it visible from the internet, you'd have to turn on public. So after you download PuTTY and put it on your desktop, you, you can uh, just launch PuTTY. And it's going to come up and it's going to ask you where you need to go. I don't even know the IP address of my Pi Star, but I know its name because I've already webbed into it up here. So that's the host name we're going to go to as well. It's pi-star.local. For SSH, I need to be port 22 and check mark the SSH and click open. A security alert should come up and should ask you if you want to cache the server's host key. I typically just say no on these. And from there, you'll be able to log in to the Pi Star, and that login is the same as its host name, Pi Dash Star, and then the password is Raspberry. Those are the defaults, uh, unless you change them. So it's just that easy to SSH into your Pi Star on the local area network. Seven three from KG five EIU.